right, Damon, thank you. Daylight saving time officially ends this weekend, which means that we will turn our clocks back one hour. Yeah, DC News Now's anchor Chris Flanagan spoke with a sleep expert from Northern Virginia about ways to fall back without missing a beat on Monday. Their conversation is what's going around. Hoffman, as we turn our clocks back this weekend, this is certainly the easy one. Uh, how long does it take our bodies to readjust to these time changes? So typically, if we're moving the clock forward, it uh, is very quick. It can take within one day, you can get back by just staying up a little later. When you turn it backwards, it usually can take up to five days to get back on a regular schedule that can be very variable. There are some people who adjust almost immediately. There are some people who can take uh, more than a week to get adjusted. Dr. Hoffman, what are some tips you can offer our viewers as we turn back the clock six weekend so they can get a good night's sleep? There can be very difficult. The problem with shifting time schedules, particularly a one hour shift backwards is our bodies are designed to easily shift forward but ha have great difficulty shifting backwards strangely enough pulling an all-nighter forcing yourself to stay up and then going to bed at what is your goal sleep time will get you back on schedule quicker than anything else otherwise use of light adjustment trying to keep the lights low near bedtime hot or bright light early in the morning, even if it's still dark out, will get you adjusted quicker. Dr. Hoffman, what about for our kids? Are there any tips, any tricks we can uh, use to get our kids uh, adjusted more quickly to the time change? Uh, unfortunately, it's the same problem, and it's made worse by the fact that as we enter our teenage years, we're actually on a normal shifted or circadian shifted sleep schedule called delays, delayed sleep phase syndrome. The normal teenager will want to stay up late and sleep in late if they were allowed to. Unfortunately, school, work schedules, et cetera, don't allow it. And we have to try to force ourselves into a societally acceptable schedule. Dr. Hoffman, thank you very much. Really appreciate you uh, lending your expertise. Thank you. Take care.